Hello and welcome to this Click Tricks and Tips video. I'm Chilpin Patel from analyticshub.io slash academy where we work hard every day to make you a Click Rockstar. Our one and only goal at the academy is to take your Click skill to the next level. So in today's video, I want to share a few tips about Click mashups. So I have my local ClickSense desktop running on my machine. And let's say I want to open one of the applications, say Executive Dashboard. Here it is. Now, in order to create mashups, you need to know the object ID because in the mashup, you need to place an object by its ID. And it's difficult to get the ID, so I'm gonna share a few tips on that. So one tip is to use slash options slash developer. And when you do that, now you can right click on the object and you see this little developer icon, you click on that and right there you have the object ID, which you can copy. And, and then when you open the uh, click dev hub and let's say you're creating a mashup so we're going to go to mashup create new say my first mashup and we're going to create a basic template let's go ahead and create it and here i can go and change the javascript file the first thing i'm going to do is to create a variable for the application so let's call that appl for application equal and then click dot open app and it's going to be executive dashboard. So I'm going to type executive dashboard. Dot QB app. The next thing is to add the object. So I can look at the HTML and see all this element IDs and then go back into JavaScript and add the object. So here I can say appl dot get object and it's a method. And here in this method, I'm gonna have the element ID, which is QB01, comma. I'm gonna paste the object ID that I got from the developer tool right there from the hub. So by doing so, I'm gonna save this and if I go back and refresh, right there's my object. So this is the object that I copied from the dashboard by using the object ID by simply typing option slash developer. That developer option's not enabled by default. So you gotta use slash option slash developer. Another useful tool that I found is the Chrome plugin. So I have it installed if I click on it and show, it shows all the objects with their IDs and much more. So actually I can create on it, I can see properties or and I can see layout. So if you want to install this, why I like it and it is awesome because you it's not an extension. You don't have to install just Chrome plugin. So you can go to this URL, upradiate.com slash AdSense Chrome.html, just add that plugin to your Chrome and you're ready to go. So with that, thank you for watching. It was a quick tricks and tip video. I hope you liked it. And again, if you like what we're teaching, please join our academy. We're offering 50% off for the year end and the holidays. And we hope that you'll join because we have a lot of content and office hours in a growing student community. So with that, Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.